Dr. Estal here, and today I want to talk about something that is really taking off here in North America. You're starting to see it in a lot of restaurants, you're starting to see people really integrate it into their diet, and more importantly, into their health regime. And that is fermentation, fermented foods. Now, there is something in Japan that is known as the national mold or the koji mold. This is a crucial ingredient when it comes to making miso. It's a fermented product and you have a miso master that oversees the production. It's a very delicate process where environment is crucial because you're taking the koji mold, you're mixing it with steamed rice, soybeans, salt, and putting that into this controlled environment. Now, how long ago was this uh, started? Now, there's a little bit of uh, controversy, but we're looking at around 1,300 years ago, and miso was a luxury item amongst the elite, amongst the VIPs, as we call them here in the North America. And as time progressed, it eventually became more popular amongst the commoners. Right? I guess that would be me, a commoner. Now, but more importantly, what's a very interesting history of the miso is the samurai needed to go out in the fields and they needed nutrition. This nutrition that they took, they had to have high protein, vitamins, amino acids to go into battle. The difficulty was carrying all the food supplies, but miso made it easy. So imagine today, the activities we do, the athletes and so forth, of course it's not like a samurai soldier, but we are able to have access to these benefits of miso. Now, the question comes down to, so what's the big deal about fermentation? What are some of the benefits? As I mentioned, you've got vitamins, minerals, amino acids, but one study that was done in Stanford, and they took 10 days, people ate the fermented products, and guess what happened? The microbiome of the intestines started to shift to a more healthy state. And being in a healthy state, the microbiome is your intestinal flora, the environment inside your intestines. You know, when sometimes you get on an antibiotic protocol, it destroys all the cells. That's what's antibiotic, anti-cell. Now, we have to re-flourish, re-inoculate the body, bring those, the bacteria back into the intestines. How is that done? An easy way? fermented foods, miso, right? Take it part of your daily uh, diet because when Stanford found this study, the, the, the flora was improved and guess what? The healthy environment improved. Now, when you improve the flora of the intestines, you start reducing what is a, the enemy of the body and that's inflammation. When you start reducing inflammation, a lot of things happen. You have the brain-gut axis. That's the, the brain communicates through the gut because remember, most of your immune system sits in the gut. So if we don't take care of gut health, we start being more susceptible to health problems. When we're more susceptible to health problems, that's where we get sick. And then you have a symptom of illness, but meanwhile, back at its source, the fermented foods would help the intestines. What else did it help? It helped with the uh, insulin sensitivity, cardiovascular issues, okay? Now, what's very interesting is taking the miso or the fermented foods also helped reduce something known as visceral fat. Now, I'm not talking about the fat that sits around on the outside of the body, the viscera, the, the organs, because the fat starts accumulating in those organs and the organs have to push harder, they have to work harder. Imagine the fat around a heart. The heart beats, right? Every beat has to work hard. When you lay more fat on the heart, it has to work so much more. So if we can help reduce the viscera fat in the system, this is a good thing. It's a big plus. The largest manufacturer, fortunately, of miso in North America is here in Southern California. A company called Marukomi, they produce fermented products and uh, it's wonderful because where do you, are you using the miso? You're using it in grilled grilling, seasoning, noodles, soups, salad dressings. So next time you go to your favorite restaurant, be sure to take a look and to ask for the miso ingredients. If it's not, 
it's easy to order. I'll see you next time.